What's up, guys? Okay, I did a whole video on this just now. A lot of heated things in there, a lot of energy. I'm just restarting it, and I'm going to get to the point. Okay, GNS, it ran 300 and, uh, I want to say 380% today, right? It's 284. It opened at 85 cents. So it ran 334% today. It ran in five days. It ran 404%. This, I don't believe this includes the after hours. So it's probably closer to like 500%, okay? If you peel this back even one month, guys, this was a 30 cent stock. So if everyone, if, if people are saying, if you're hearing out there, if you're hearing $10 price target, I want you to understand that that is a 3,300% increase in in 36 hours if you hear that those people are mental that's just the facts they're mental they don't do math and they just throw out a psychological number to get you excited and pump and pump and hype a play now this there's the ceo who covers this okay uh his name is i'm gonna go over this girl in a second here uh, this is a big red flag. So his name is Rogers, Roger James Musk Hamilton. Clear that it's the richest man in the world. Okay. Uh, I guess he has a YouTube channel with 179,000 subscribers. Uh, I don't know much about this guy. Looks like he might have been... Uh, like, if you go back, look at his videos, guys, okay? He, he's, he's a YouTuber. He's not... Talking about this company two years ago, a year ago, talking about COVID, tsunami, Bitcoin, metaverse, uh, NFTs. Okay. Now, where are we? Where is his first genius group? Genius group and the future of education. One year ago. So one year ago, he gets in. One year ago, he gets in. Stops talking about it. Stops talking about it. Doesn't have anything to say about it. <clears throat> Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. He IPO'd nine months ago. And then the rest is history. It's been crashing ever since. Okay. He's talking about market crashes. Then out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Six days ago, he's deciding to do something. What happened? Why is he all of a sudden just deciding to do something? Um, uh, so there's another YouTuber who talked to me about this stock. His name's John Wick Snipen. He knows maybe more a little about, about it than me. I'm coming at it from a totally neutral viewpoint. I'm taking all of my experience in the market, all of my experience with AMC and other pump plays, and all of my experience with options and everything, I bring a little bit more dimension to it. I've done a lot of a lot of uh, reviews of like if you look back to Redbox, I look through all the filings almost every day, and I called that thing two a t two a t. Literally, I ca I called I called the Redbox when it was going to close and and move to Chicken Soup. I called that within three days. I called that two full months ahead of it ever happening. It, to, to within uh it was within two days two days not three days it was within within two days um based on what i was seeing okay what i'm seeing here is is a guy who had a bunch of money from youtube who got involved in the company who knows the power of retail who knows the power of marketing this is marketing okay this is the way look look at my videos the, the how they look okay like I, I need to learn I need to learn how to use um Photoshop, okay? Mine kind of suck. Mine mine aren't that good. Not gonna lie. Mine are usually check out all this these gains, okay? Thousands of percent, blah blah blah. I use friggin' paint, guys. This one I sketched just on my on my phone with the pen. Like I'm not very good with it like like this. This, you know, I find this to be a bit better than me. 
It's all advertising and marketing, okay? He, 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 he did not make his wealth from this company other than through the IPO and it getting dumped on. If you go and you pull it up, if you pull GNS up on Finviz, okay, there's a couple things I like to see. So he bought it, he bought it, and he just didn't sell. He's got 51% ownership. You know this is him. He's got a controlling interest in the company. I don't even have to look up the filing. I'm pretty sure this is him because it's like 1% over. So it's majority ownership. He picked a small company, put his money in, and now he's going to use you guys to pump it. Plain and simple. You're going to get used. Hopefully, a lot of you make money along the way. You, you're up 380% in a day. You don't take profits here. Don't be surprised if you get smoked over the weekend. Just don't. Okay? They don't actually post a profit. Their sales are down. Okay? Their earnings, their sales are down and their earnings per share this year are down half. So him giving you this sob story about naked shorts, you're getting shorted into oblivion because you're not making money. You're like Party City. And you're like Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay? You don't make money. You don't make money. Income. Minus 12, 1.3 billion on on. Sales of 6.2 billion, they still came in 7.5 7 billion in, in, in the negative, right? Earnings, earnings down, earnings down, sales down 8.4. Well, that sounds familiar. Sales down 8.4, sales down 8. Hmm, okay. Um, EPS this year down 269%, down 50. What's party? Down. Look at this. Party's, party's earnings per share this year were up. They're still going bankrupt, okay? Because their total, they, they were up, but being negative and going up is still negative <laughs> for this company, right? Fact is, is they don't, they don't, they don't make money, right? You have to make, AMC is the same. They don't make money. 12 quarters, no money, you guys, okay? So they don't make money. You'd want to see earnings per, per share this year up. You'd want to see sales up. You wouldn't want to see it down. So this guy's holding it down, hoping you'll bail him out. He's got access to 14 million convertible shares. The float has 10.4. Uh, the float has 10.5 million shares at this point, which is small enough to squeeze. Um, I don't know how many shorts are on it. You you go on Market Watch, it says 0.22. I don't believe it at all. I don't believe it at all. You go on Fintel, uh, it says AMC has none, and it says GNS has 500,000. Half of a million. Half of a million of a 10 million float is a shit ton. Okay? But it look look when it updated. 1228. It hasn't updated since since December. How can you rely on this crap? You cannot rely on this. You cannot rely on Ortex. Okay. Don't rely on that. What you need to look at is cost to borrow from your broker. Your broker is not gonna lie to you because you're gonna be borrowing from your broker if you try to short. I looked it up today. It was a 78% cost of borrow. GSUN was 250. MGAM was 280, I believe. Okay. Uh, let me pull up something real quick in my Discord. Uh, and just, just so you know, again, I, I am neutral here because I don't have a position, which is good. You're going to get a neutral view. We had people in GSUN. Uh, where is it? GSUN. He made he, uh, this individual in my Discord, free from it all Discord, made seven thousand bucks. So, or sorry, six thousand bucks in GSUN. We had a couple other people making money on GSUN. I have a section on GSUN uh, market movers. It was announced at nine twenty one in the morning. Okay, GSUN right here. GNS fifty two fifty one percent in the market movers section and in unusual volume. GNS right here. Okay. So it was alerted to, to people in my Discord, um, but wasn't pushed, okay? We followed it throughout the day. I mentioned it a couple times. It actually, at one point in, in the day, it looked to have a double top, which I mentioned, which was right here. Boom, boom, okay? It broke the double top and carried on, right? Which was very bullish for you guys. But you have to be concerned about any stock that is just, it's, it's gone that high in one day. You're going to see people on Twitter talking about the volume and, oh, my God, it's manipulation. Guys, 
it had heavy volume because it had heavy heavy trading and there's money in it in the play at this point it's not hard to do 10 20 30 x okay when you're trading massive amounts of a small float it, it, who cares if the volume was 300 million we've seen it before on uh P, what was it what was that other one t something tt or something gamble a, a ton of low floaters have had massive volume. Even, even Mullen has had a volume like that. So, speaking of, I want you to understand that the kiss of death for me, the kiss of death is this person. This woman right here. Teresa Perrin. Okay? Where did it go? She, where the hell did it go? Sorry about that. She uh, will be the quickest way to part you from your money. Once she starts covering it, two hours ago, you're toast. She always uses this crap. It's the same message to you guys. We're fighting manipulation. Oh, no. Finra. Finra. Do, 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 do. Go into her. Go in her videos and watch how many times she's parted people from their money. Hellbiz. Garbage. DNS. Mullen. Garbage. <laughs> Ader. Garbage. PBIG garbage. A, uh, she's got some ATV here and here somewhere. Where is it? ABCT delisting and bankrupt. Four days. I want you guys to see something. I want you to see something. Okay, here's my videos. Where's my bad influencers? Bad influencers. Where did it go? So I did a video a month ago. How she, Rara, who's a good guy, great guy, doesn't mean actual harm like maybe her and Lou. And Lou, these are bad, there's bad influencers out there, guys, that uh, will part you from your money, tell you bullshit, and feed you lies. Just like this MMTLP Finra garbage. Okay, that did not pan out. I'm the only one that will ever go against the grain and tell you guys what's up. Uh, uh, Tony De Niro is a YouTuber who might also tell you what's up. He's super, basically he talks about AMC all day, every day. But he knows how to read filings, and he'll tell you what's up. And he's a good YouTuber. John Wick Sniping, good YouTuber in my opinion. Bad influencers. Teresa Perrin, okay? AVCT was getting pumped. Pumped. This is why it's important to know who you're dealing with. Pumped by this chick. Okay? You go back. Two months. Two months. Four months. I was in Teddy Zane's Discord. I'm no longer in the Discord because I'm, it was just work for me. I wasn't getting anything out of it. And I was putting in a lot of work. I did my own. I'm doing my own Discord. I, I couldn't juggle both. I told him. I told him, get the hell out of AVCT, bro. I looked at all the filings. Microsoft, I looked at Microsoft's filings. They picked up a company that does exactly what AVC does one month before this chick starts pumping AVCT. I saved Teddy Zane thousands of dollars. I'm pretty sure he said he had like 6,000 shares or some garbage, and it dropped like two, three, four bucks the, the next day. Saved him thousands of dollars. Saved his people thousands. He yanked his video, okay? This chick was pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. Just keeps pumping it. It's trash. Keeps pumping it. Guys, this is the AVCT chart. Here's the AVCT chart. Here, we go back six months. She's pumping it. Three months, three months, four months, three months. Uh, what do we got? Four months. Four months. Does it go back further than four months? Uh, I'm not going to look too long, but let's just go back. Because this is kind of on the cusp. Four months. Give or take. Four months. So one, two, three, four. September. She gets you in at the peak, guys. Six, six bucks gets you in at the peak. It's 60 cents. She lost you 90% of your money. This isn't just an isolated incident. I said she's doing BBIG. She's doing Ader. She's doing Mullen. BBIG, three days, a month, five months. Tied, five months, six months. You want to see BBIG? You need to know who's pumping this crap so that you can avoid getting caught. What is going on here? Oh my god. Sorry guys. I got the fat fingers. BBIG. Hey, what did I say she was doing? Six months? Five and six months. 
five and six months. One, two, three, four, five, six months. How's that looking for you? Uh, you you had your money rotting in around uh, around seventy a dollar a dollar seventy seven a dollar forty five. You had your money rotting the whole play. Here's a here's a year on BBIG guys. Horrendous. It's horrendous. It's two bucks. I remember summer two years ago this thing was like twelve bucks or something. This is like okay. This can't even be right. It was like five six. It was like nine bucks. This and Ader were pumping. Either way, uh, look at this chart. Okay. How long did she pump this thing for? Five months, six months, six months, seven months, seven months. So she's gone back beyond six. Six, seven, seven. Mm, she's still talking about it. She still, still thinks it's going to... She's been begging this shit for friggin' seven months, guys. Probably longer if you were to go back. She hasn't had her channel all that long. So I don't know if she's been pumping it for very... For, for ultra long, but, you know... Uh, She's, she's done nothing. So she started pumping it around May. Around May at two bucks, it's 67 cents. You got owned. What else was she, what else did they say she was pumping? Uh MMTLP. Oh look, guys. Market corruption. Hustle. Oh look, it's gonna squeeze. Brace yourself. Uh catalyst coming. Short squeeze. Uh, opportunity, help, oh God, I, I, I have to, sh it's not me throwing her under the bus, it's herself, this is her own track record, I have my own track record, I, bu I busted, I busted it on Redbox, we destroyed it, 950%, I kicked ass on TBLT, hundreds and hundreds of percent, we kicked ass on Siga, hundreds of percent, we kicked ass on Roe v. Wade Place, hundreds of percent, we kicked ass on Megal, M-E-G-L. Kicked ass on that. Kicked ass on ENDP. We actually did kick ass on. It went from 30 cents to 95 cents, but a lot of people got in late. We've been burned since, but in the last week, it's up 100% in the last week and a half, two weeks. Okay? So you could have averaged, and now you're actually net up. Uh, I've been telling people, oh, may as well average up at six cents. Okay, so what else is she pumping here? You need to be your every 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 pump. She comes in late, pumps it, hypes it, tells you there's some manipulation, whatever. The usual usual or oh, C E oh god C E I Cosm <laughs> C E I Mullen. She has been pumping Mullen forever. Mo oh my god, Mullen is one of the worst out there, guys. Here's Mullen. Here's Mullen. 44 employees, top to bottom. See, I talk about it all the time. Makes nothing, getting destroyed. EPS down 536%, quarter over quarter, 200%, basically. Uh, insider owned, down a percent, barely owned. A bill, 2 billion shares? What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, Apple? 2 billion shares, pretty much? Company is, look at this. Look at this chart. This is why they get short of new renewable oblivion. They don't make money. They're going to go bankrupt until once people realize, hey, this guy just keeps diluting and stealing our money and the stock keeps falling. We can't just throw money at this trash. Okay, Mullen. Mullen. Still talking about Mullen. She's obsessed with Mullen. Let's go back. Where is she on Mullen? Oh, I need to be on just her. One day, three weeks, a month, three months, three months, four months, four months, five months. Again, her channel is six months. I think her channel is six months old. So this might have been her first videos. Six months. Six months. We, we met up during Redbox. She couldn't read a filing. I was doing all the work on my own. She didn't know what the hell she was reading. She was of no use to me, no help. She was, it was just, a, I would, I would do all the work. She would host a, a call and then I'm in there doing all the work. Six months, six months. She's been pumping Mullen. Six freaking months, you guys. Okay. Mullen. Six months. Oh, she got you in at a buck and she's got you down at 28 cents, guys. 
Stop following these people. If people put out an unrealistic price target on GNS, do simple math. Six bucks is achievable. Okay? I think. I'm not joking you. Six bucks is achievable because this momentum and hype could continue into tomorrow. A hundred percent from today would be around 570. Okay? 284 times two. 568 a share. That's that's what I real I think is realistic. Don't think there's any financial reasons to support that price. I think you guys are getting grifted by a YouTuber. The dude is a YouTuber. He's who became wealthy and is a CEO of an obscure company. Okay. I think he's grifting you, he's using you. That's my opinion. Choose to don't choose to ignore it, choose to agree with it, choose to dislike it. It's irrelevant. I'm just sharing information. One thing I want to show you guys, stock twits. Okay, this is only one data source. I don't know how many people follow this on Weeble. Apple has 870,000 people watching it. Okay. Tesla has 877,000 people watching it. Uh, let HKD has 17,800 people watching it. GNS has 5,500 people watching it. Message volume spiked 1,200%. No one was talking about it yesterday. Sentiment's barely gone up, which I there's no way that's accurate. Um, Let's see. Let's see if there's any pumpers in here right now. Let's just see real quick. Ten bucks is the ugh, two messages in. They say ten bucks. This guy's a moron. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Oh look, no followers, no following, and nine posts. That's a fucking bot, guys. That's a bot. Nine posts. So I'm gonna reply. Nine posts and gives a price target of ten dollars, two thousand percent increase. Sorry, and divide thirty one, thirty three hundred, thirty two hundred percent increase uh, from five days ago. Seems reasonable. Let me just copy this. What do we got? So that's two. That's two people in. It says insiders. We know it's probably just one insider. Special dividend is uh, scary to me, guys. That's what Ape was. Ape was your special dividend. You got destroyed. He's copying the Ape. It, it would not surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all that Hedgies got a hold of him and said, look, why don't we do a special dividend? And everybody's going to win is going to be insiders and market makers and hedge funds. There's no options chain on it yet, so we'll see what happens there. Couple, we'll just look at a couple more, see how it goes. Uh, doesn't really seem to be any other major pumpers here, which is actually, I like to see that. Okay? You don't... We used to 50, 10 likes. Four thousand ideas. How much do you want to bet that this guy pumps all the pump plays? Apron. God, he was really putting in work today. His whole page is GNS, like every other minute. Look at this guy, GNS. This is what you call a paid pumper. Most likely, or just, I don't know. He's probably all in on this. Party. Party went bankrupt, guys. It's done. They're done. They, they're done. Party. Megal. HKD. Grom. I know. I'm, I don't fall for this crap anymore, guys. I'm in the options chain. I alerted today. Charge point options at plus 200%. They went to 1,400%. You guys went to fourteen hundred. Okay. Uh, where are we here? What is this? 
Oh, that's old. That's old. Here we go. This is today. This is today. Why would I get FOMO? Why would I get FOMO when I show charge point at plus 207%? Uh, sorry. Yeah, plus 200%. It cost, it cost six bucks to get in, guys. Sorry, three bucks. It cost three dollars. So you could buy 100 contracts if you want. It cost three bucks to get this contract. The contract went up to 1,400%. That's a 700%. 1,400 divided 200, 700%. 7x. What, what, why would I get FOMO? What else did I show? I showed some other ones here. Uh, this is all today. And NCLH. So that was Norwegian Cruise. 700%. They said, you know, things are looking bad. I threw out the alert, guys. I threw out the alert. Let's let's watch the 1450 strike. 1450. I threw out the alert. It was six cents. That's six bucks for the contract. Six bucks. 100% up. Six bucks. News is coming in. Stock's going to fall. Boom. You go a little later, 667%. 566% gain. A little bit later, 1450 strike. It's now worth from three cents, guys. From three cents. Three cents. It's now worth 26 cents. 766%. I don't give a shit about these squeeze plays by and large. I talked about MGAM and GSUN because their cost of borrow just keeps going up. Keeps going up. Doesn't matter. We talked about Neurosense in the morning. We watched GNS all day. I let my people know in the Discord. I let them know about it. You want to be in my Discord? Join the Discord. It's a paid private Discord. Over 300 members, okay? Making money, making gains. Blink alerted at 1250. Alerted at 200%. It went up, uh, it went up to 657%. 657% from 200. This is all today. And then I go over some of the people making money, which why don't we take a look at that real quick before we go. Where's my Discord? Where the hell did my Discord go? Did I close it? I did. Let's go. Let's go for it. And then we'll end the Discord. We'll end it there. So I want to go to, yeah, again, I don't know if I showed this, but I alerted, I alerted GNS in the morning at 921, right here, GNS, and it's in unusual volumes. We go to gains, we see we've got, I think I, I, think I showed this already. Yeah, we showed some uh, individual getting $6,000 on GNS, but look at, let's go up here. This, so this is, this is the 19th. So this is, in the morning, we've got a 416% gain on the spy put. <laughs> well, I dumped in the morning. It flushed 400%. This, this guy had 400 Steve had 400% by 849 in the morning, guys. It had been an hour, and 19 min, an hour and 19 minutes, and he was up 400%. Do you think we have FOMO for this other stuff? 10% quick scalp. Quick 30% scalp, 122% on an Amazon put. We play a lot of the big caps, so they're not obscure stocks. 277% on a SPY put, 50% on a Tesla put. I played Tesla puts today. Held some overnight. They're up. Probably not going to end well for me, but I guess we'll see. 82%. 470% and another 45%, okay? Same guy, two contracts. Uh, quick in and out. So in three minutes, in three minutes, he made 850 bucks on a spy put. We have some strategies that we follow and some indicators. I've told them how to put on their charts. So if you join, if nothing else, you'll gain this information. Good day, 35%, right? Uh... Google calls because we were saying so meta was going up and Google was going up. We don't just do puts guys. We will play both directions Meta uh, Meta and Google were going up alerted to them that he made 152 percent on uh, Google Okay Microsoft he made 114 percent right I didn't like seeing this guy said he had hundred percent in this GNS. I think that's ridiculous. You definitely don't want hundred percent in one of these pumper plays, guys. Be careful with that. So 
Long, by and large, where do I see this could go? Five to six bucks. If people are holding, which who knows if they'll hold that long, I don't know. Five to six bucks. I would not hold this into Monday. Hell no. I don't trust the CEO. I think he's grifting people. He's using Michael Wes Christensen, who was part of AMC. He's using him to lure people in. He's a YouTuber. I don't really care. He's come out of the woodworks. He hasn't talked about any of this manipulation the whole time. He just comes out of nowhere. So, sorry, John Wick. I know you told me to take a look, but once I took a look, that's the rabbit hole I went down. Okay? I, I congratulate you guys and all your people for making all that money today. Incredible. I don't trust him. Uh, what else? When you see people pumping it like a Teresa, kiss a death, get the hell out. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> point blank. Uh, <coughs> there's just other money to be had out there. We're in a lot of turmoil. I don't know if squeeze plays can be legit. If they stay compliant, that's going to look good for a long-term hold. As long as this guy comes out and publicly says, I won't dilute. But Adam Aaron said that too. And he was honest. He didn't dilute shares. He made ape. And this CEO has already promised you he's going to do a special dividend. Where did he say it? He said it nine hours ago. Seven in the morning. Seven in the morning. So today... Special dividend. One second here. Ape. Destroyed the stock's value. You got half. And now you're just messing around with shorts. Went to town with this. This is bullshit. You know what? You know what you don't do? You don't issue a special dividend. You know what you do do? You buy back your shares. Buy back all your shares. Buy back 100% of the shares. Buy back 99% of the shares so that people can see that the volume, the volume should be virtually nothing. Don't do this dividend crap. This is a big red flag for me, guys. I hope you got uh, some information out of here that you find useful. Have yourselves a good day, a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.